Hey everyone, Mr. Overon here with Mr. Overon's Tarot Reading Services, and today I am doing a video about grat <laughs> gratitude and um, trying to find the light and the dark, positive and the negative, so on and so forth, however you want to um, put that together. So, recently I've had some people in my life just be extremely negative and just putting out this huge cloud of negativity and then wondering why they're going through some of the shit that they're going through. And I understand what it's like to constantly feel like the world is against you, but through whatever miracle or clarification I have started looking at the positive and the negative and as somebody who strives to be a light worker or putting out positive intentions or whatever you want to call it, I've really started doing that in my day-to-day -day spirituality and at night, every night, sometime like around 11.30 to midnight, um, I sit down at my table and I just take a moment to breathe in and release all that negativity that's built up throughout the day. Try to focus on the positive, put out positive intentions for my friends, my family, my clients. Um, I've been doing a lot of bay leaf magic, which I think I posted a video about. If not, um, after I've posted this video, I will look into doing a video on that so you know um i've just been doing a lot of candle spells also i have a candle burning on my altar right now that is um just chock full of intention and personal love and light and just positive energy that i'm putting out into the universe for everyone i have friends family clients names written all over the candle denominations of money that they need, what they need the money for, um, say like Joe Bob needs money for new tires, so I have a uh, dollar sign Joe Bob tires, or dollar sign sister uh, rent, you know, whatever. Um, and so I've just been putting out all of this positive energy that I possibly can. And I've started seeing a return on some of it. Now, I'm not doing this to get a return. I'm doing this because I want to raise my vibrations and put it out into the universe. That that is the kind of energy that I want to bless people with. I have friends who... Um, parents have had a stroke just recently and they were really upset about like trying to figure out what to do they couldn't get the power of attorney because the mother was still alive and this was happening and that was happening and so i started working on that aspect and like on the candle every couple of days um i change out my candle because it burns out i put so and so um health prosperity and happiness for friends and family and whatever else and I listed down and I did petition magic where I wrote onto bay leaves what I needed for this person and I set that on fire in my cauldron and I put all this positive energy out into the universe and I, I'm seeing how this has started affecting everything in my day-to-day -day life and I've always known about the law of attraction and the universal law of, of attraction and whatever else and uh, what you put out is what you get, you know, whatever me metaphysical or um, inspirational quote you may have for it, basically it all boils down to is you get what you give. And so that's what I've been trying to do, just been trying to put out that positive energy to, um, not only raise my vibration level and bring in um, happiness and prosperity and wealth and health to my life, but to my family, to my friends, and to my clients. So I'm trying to do this ripple effect where I put it out for them and 
hopefully it comes back to me. So far, so good. And, you know, I'm very thankful to the spirits, to the gods and goddesses, to the universe for blessing me the way that they have. And, um, you know, I've, I have a friend right now who is going through a lot of crap because they themselves have just been spinning this huge, horrible web of negativity. And I keep telling them, listen, you are, you are knocking on the door of the gods way too much. You're not taking any time to go through some shit. Any bit of hard decisions that need to be made or any bit of stress or strife, they're over there just, hey, universe, God, whatever, I need your help. Fix this. Hey, universe, God, whatever, I need your help. Fix this. Hey, I broke my pencil of lead. I need to fill this paperwork out. Please bless me with a new pencil. Hey, I'm out of Q-tips. I need a new Q-tip. Please bless me with a Q-tip. You know, stupid minute things to grandeur things. They are knocking on the door of the spirits for every little freaking thing. And I was telling them, that's not how this works. Okay, you've got to go through some shit yourself before things really happen for you. You can't spin this huge thing of negative energy, putting it out into the universe and, oh, fuck this, fuck that, da 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 whatever else, and expect good things to come back on you. You can't put that out on somebody. Fuck this person, fuck that person. They did this, they did that, they're a piece of shit, blah, 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 blah. Karma's gonna come back for them, all this other stuff. No, you can't do that. As somebody who is aspiring to be a light worker, which this person is, and I'm trying to teach this person how to utilize the natural energies and how to put your potential or your intentions and petitions into the universe and to communicate with gods, to communicate with spirit, to communicate with the universe, or whatever higher power that they feel is significant in their world but at the same time they don't understand they are so programmed for instant gratification that they don't want to take the time to walk through the mud they constantly want everything to happen for them that's not how any of this works people you can't just throw magic at something you can't you just can't pray it away a lot of times. It doesn't matter what religion you are, what what path you follow, you've got to walk that bumpy road. You know, for a lack of better terms, you got to walk that bumpy road every once in a while. You've got to trip, you got to fall, you got to stumble, you got to hit rock bottom because in doing so, you are learning a lesson that God, the universe, spirit, whatever is putting out there for you to learn. So, you know, if the universal law of attraction worked 100% of the time, there would be no poverty. There would be no there would be no hunger or war or any of that stuff. Everything would be complete blank slate and stale. That's not life. Life is not stale. Life is a a a moving, living force. It gives and it takes. Sometimes it gives too much, sometimes it takes too much. Sometimes it's equal. The scales are always tipping in one direction or the other. And you have to learn that as a witch, as a practitioner, as a light worker, as a human, you've got to know that, the, that you're never going to be perfectly in balance. There's times where you will achieve that level of balance, but us being humans, we always tip the scales in one direction or another. If you're too positive with something, you're tipping the scales and things are going to be just horrendous for you. If you're too negative, the same aspect, you know, you can't have too much good without too much bad. 
it has to be that balance. And so, you know, with life being dynamic, we're constantly tipping the scale back and forth. Even the most well laid out, best intention, loving light, energy working person will have a good day or a bad day where the scales tip one way or the other. You know, so just be thankful and be blessed to have those items in your life or those situations arise in your life that make your day to day a little bit better. But when a huge negative aspect comes along, say like you lose your car or by losing your car I mean that it was broken into, it was repoed, um, something happened to it that it's just not mechanically sound anymore and you can't drive it, you know, any number of reasons that you have lost that car. Okay, so maybe a couple of months ago you were putting out into the universe, I really need to lose weight, I really need to start exercising, this, that, and the other thing. So now you no longer have your car, now you're having to walk to work, or you're having to walk to catch the bus. You know, you have to look at what you've put out into the universe prior to your situation. Oh, you know, I, I need to make more money. I, I really need to make more money. I wish I had more money. I wish I had more money. You lose your job. Oh my God, why is this happening to me? Well, you put out into the universe that you needed to make more money and that you wanted more money. So you had to lose your source of income so that a new source of income could come into your life. That's the positive in the negative, the light and the dark. Now, don't do these things don't be a positive person or topically positive and put out false positive vibes where you're expecting a return in payment. The universe, God, energy, whatever you call it, it's not an ATM. You can't just withdraw from it without putting something into it. It doesn't work that way. Yes, we can all draw from the energies of the universe. We can all draw from the energy of God or the spirits or whatever you want to call. But there still has to be an equivalent exchange. So if you're constantly putting out negativity but expecting positive things to come back, where is that positivity going to come from? If you're constantly ringing the doorbell of the gods or spirit or the universe, I need help, 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 and you don't take the time to walk that bumpy road, why are you going to be helped? What have you done to deserve help? Now, I'm not saying don't connect with your higher power or your spiritual self or whatever else. It's fully acceptable and 100% okay that once you have walked a length of that journey and things are piling up on top of you and you just feel that you are overwhelmed, it's okay to say, you know, Blessed Mother, please lessen this burden on me. I understand that this is a trial and a tribulation that I have to go through right now, but I'm overwhelmed. Please just lessen my burden and help me to understand the lessons therein and you know that's what I do for myself and I go through some crap because I have mental and physical health issues that that arise um, I don't know if I've ever said this in any of my videos before but I'm opening it up to you now to let you know about these things um, I'm diabetic and um, I suffer from depression and I'm bipolar. Um, so there's times where I'm just unstable and I like go all over the place with my emotions. And so there's a lot of times where I'm just like, ah, fuck everything. And then I stop and I take a step back and okay, this is a trial and a tribulation that I have to go through right now. Let me try to make it through at least another couple of days. So I'll go through it for like three, four days, a week, two weeks. And if I feel like I'm just starting to become overwhelmed 
and that I need that help, then I'll sit down and light a candle or send my petition into the universe. You know, Blessed Mother, Goddess Divine, I pray to you, hear this, hear this cry of mine. My woes are way too much for me to handle right now. This burden is too heavy for me to bear on my own. Please lessen it. Please give me the strength to make it through. And please make my pathway more obvious so that I myself can learn the lessons without the burden. And, you know, nine times out of ten, when I just get it off my chest and I put it out there and I do my devotions or my daily devotions, nightly devotions, whatever they happen to be, and I put that out into the universe and I speak from my heart, I feel just that sense of relief like the gods have heard me and all of that pressure that I was under is lessened and then over the next few days yeah I'm still going through some shit but I don't feel that burden that like soul crushing face in the mud burden of trying to get through this stuff so that's what I'm putting out into the universe, and that's what I'm trying to instill into people who not only watch my video, but are just my day-to-day -day friends and family and clients that I work with or whatever. Just take some time to be thankful for what you have in your life, what you had in your life, and what is to come in your life. Um, always try to find the positive and the negative. That is my goal for this new year coming up is to find the positive in the negative. So, you know, just recently I had car troubles myself. I didn't have enough money to take care of it. It was right before Christmas and it was like, well, do I do uh, Christmas and Yule for my, for my friends and family or do I do this tire repair and then try to do the best afterwards? Um, so, I opted to work on my vehicle because I needed my car more than I needed to get presents for people. And I blessed the people in my life all throughout the year. Um, I was still able to manifest enough items that were significant to the person that I was giving them to that it would be good enough for that person. And so it was... A very humble Christmas, Yule, uh, winter solstice for me and my family because we were all feeling the crunch. And, um, you know, after um, the festivities were all said and done, that night I just sat in front of a fire and just gave a silent thank you to the world to the universe and to the gods and the spirit um, for helping me. Um, so yeah, that's that's been a lot of what's going on in my life. Um, the other thing that I have recently done too is I started taking a class on um, to become a peer counselor and I just recently passed, passed that class. So um, I am now a certified peer counselor for the state of Washington. Um, I've always offered life coaching and uh, counseling to people through the church that I'm ordained through, um, but now I'm certified to do that also. So I um, got to get my letter of good standing from the church, and then I got to uh, get get this other stuff all situated and then um, I will be completely cleared across the board so yeah um, that's what's new there also I'm thinking of starting to do uh, weekly tarot readings um, on the channel I'm thinking that I will either do them on Wednesdays and um, do it from Wednesday to Wednesday or do it on Mondays Monday to Monday um, I'm not 100% sure right now, but that's where my level of thinking is. Um, 
So yeah, if you would like to have a reading or spell work or anything done, you can uh, shoot me an email at mroveron at gmail.com or you can hit me up on the website mr um, www.mroveron.com or um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, put them in the comment section down below. And if you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button and that little bell icon. Um, that way you will be notified whenever I post new videos. And um, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Um, I thank you for all those who have subscribed and who will subscribe in the future. And if you have any video topics that you would like for me to cover, please feel free to let me know, and I will do my best to cover them. Um, I've been trying to do a lot of uh, just DIY how-to spells, like how I do my magics and so on and so forth. So if there's anything that you guys would like to know or like to see how I do it, please, by all means, feel free to hit me up. So anyways... Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut this off now, but thank you guys, and uh, let's make 2019 our bitches, and I will see you all later, witches. Bye!